everybody what's up what's up what's happening well the dollar at a six month low today what happened there i thought rate hikes were bullish for the dollar remember we had all those dollar bulls i had people writing to me i had people emailing me me thinks saying you're going to be wrong the rate hikes are going to make the dollar strong dollars at six month lows I explained all that stuff. That's classic MMT. Rate hikes are inflationary. They are price increases. In fact, I told you not to even say rate hikes. I just told you to call it price hikes. And they are also de facto fiscal expansions. If, uh, if the Treasury, if Steve Mnuchin came out today, U.S. Treasury Secretary, and said that, uh, that the U.S. government was going to start increasing deficit spending. I'm telling you, the speculators would be all over the dollar. But that's what rate hikes are. It's just not expressed that way, but that's what they are. They're de facto fiscal expansions. So anyway, that's why, by the way, all the inflationistas were wrong. You know, back in 2008 and 2009, when the Fed started to engage in all these extraordinary monetary policies, and they were screaming, oh, there's going to be a collapse in the dollar and hyperinflation. That was literally... That stuff was literally money unprinting, it wasn't money printing. And rate hikes, that's real money printing. Anyway, I want to talk about something else. The power of the mind and the power of your beliefs, people. Many of you don't even understand how powerful you are. But you use your power against yourself. I had a guy yesterday, he was a longtime subscriber, was unhappy. Uh, because of my defensive uh, position towards the stock market, he had made money. He actually said to me, Mike, I don't consider closed out profitable positions as profits. I mean, it, you know, that was an amazing statement to me. That is um, revisionism that, that the former, you know, uh, communist states of the Soviet Republic would have been. That's revisionism that... that um, George Orwell would be, you know, proud of. I mean, I do not consider profits. He literally said, I do not consider profits to be profits. So this is something that, you know, people put in their minds. They, they literally convince themselves that profits are not profits. And the losses, while on paper, those are real. But the profits that they literally put in their account, in their bank. That's not real. That doesn't exist. The power of the mind, people. How easy would it be to reframe that in your mind? That every single closed out position has been a profit. And yes, I might be sitting on a losing position right now, but it is not the end of the story. The end of the story is when you take that loss. But this is the power of the mind. And many of you use the power of your own mind against you. You use it against you. And I guess you're comfortable doing that. And you're uncomfortable using the power of the mind in your interest. You're more comfortable using the power of your mind against you and your goals and your success. You don't want to frame it correctly, all right? You want to wallow in this self-pity. Oh, yeah, I made all these profits, but those are not profits. My loss that I'm sitting on right now in open loss, that's what really matters. All those profits, every single one, every single one, 100% all closed out with profit. Those are not profits. See, that's the power of the mind, people. It is so easy to reframe that and to state it in a way that helps you, that supports you, all right? That gives you uh, the, the, the mental strength, the toughness, the wherewithal to face through some period of adversity. I've used the example of Warren Buffett a lot. You know, he says, I don't even go in a stock if I don't think I can't hold it for five years, all right? That Berkshire Hathaway, what's it trading? $250,000 a share? He built that up. Berkshire Hathaway never, I mean, Warren Buffett never invented anything, never created anything, never built anything, never uh, discovered a cure for cancer, 
He never built an iPhone, nothing, man. But the guy's like, what now, the third or the fourth richest guy in the world from buying stocks in a method of value and holding and, yes, patience. There's that word again, okay? So a lot of you freaking out. You know, I have to tell you a story. I've been cleaning out some files, some old files of mine recently. I came across uh, back in the 90s when I was living in Switzerland. Uh, I was also publishing economic research that I was distributing to uh, banks. I had a lot of banks as clients, asset managers. I came across some of my old reports, man, from... <laughs> <laughs> from late 1998 and 1999, where I was bearish on stocks at that time, I had been bullish through the early, mid-90s and then turned bearish. And, you know, market was still going up. But what happened? We knew. We know what happened in March 2000. The thing topped out. It took the NASDAQ 15 years or 16 years to recover from that top. All right. So, I mean, it was cool that I found that. Those old articles, I don't know, it's like kind of like an omen, right? I didn't even know they still existed, but I was going through some old files. People, it's all about the mental game. It's all about the framing. You could make yourself crazy. You could scare the wits out of yourself. You could have a bad night or a bad bunch of nights where you can't sleep. But that is you, all right? Be like, what was that, uh, Marcus Aurelius? Be like a rocky promontory against the raging sea. Stand strong, all right? The thing that you create, the fear that you create, you create it. When you say profits are not profits, that's revisionism. You're doing that to yourself to make, I mean, why? Ask yourself why. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, this is a guy, an educated, intelligent man, all right? Pro Mike, my profits are not profits. What's real is the loss I'm holding on to right now, even though, you know, you have not cashed out with a loss. But the profits, all those profits, Mike, they're not profits. That's an amazing statement, people. And that is an example of how one person, at least, is on a pension to self-sabotage. And that person, you know, he's going to cast blame on others. All right. He's going to, he's literally twisting the situation on purpose to define his you know his his condition as horrible when in fact that is not reality folks the key to happiness is rationality i told you about that book by albert ellis get the freaking book albert ellis psychology live in a rational way behave rationally think rationally when you take profits and then you sit there and tell me an educated man, that's not really a profit. That didn't exist. There is something big time wrong with that. All right. You got to sit yourself down. I don't care how successful you think you are. You got to sit yourself down and think about what you are saying. All right. Very simple. It's very simple. It's up to you, people. It's all up to you. The market can do nothing to you financially. It can do nothing to you. Everything that happens to you, you do to yourself. The new line, profits are not profits. Only my open losses are what really count. That's twisting yourself around to a degree. You might as well just, you know, do yourself in at this point. I mean, that's what you're, you know, that's where it's going. That is where it's going. Profits are not profits, people. Bye.